Every Confluent space has its own set of independent permissions. In this tutorial, you will learn how to assign space permissions. Let's start with a quick recap of how permissions are structured in Confluence. There are three levels of permissions, global, space, and page. This tutorial focuses on space permissions. There are separate tutorials on global permissions and page restrictions. It's important to note that there are two types of Confluent spaces, global and personal. In order to create a global space in Confluence, you must have the create space global permission. In order to create a personal space, you must have the personal space global permission. Refer to the tutorial on global permissions for full details. Global spaces are areas in your site into which you can group content items based on any theme or topic of your choice. For example, you may want to separate areas on your site for each team or project within your organization. Global spaces are listed in the spaces list on the Confluence dashboard. Personal spaces belong to particular users, and rather than being listed on the dashboard, they are available from the people directory. A space administrator is a user that has the space admin permission for that space. The user who originally created a space is automatically given the space admin permission. When you create a new space, by default, all registered users will be able to view and comment and create and edit content within the space. You can change these default permissions before creating the space and after creating the space. This is the home page for a space for which I am the space administrator. To edit the permissions for a space, you must navigate to the browse menu in your menu bar and select space admin. This item will only be visible when you are within a space for which you have the space admin permission. Once you're in the space administration console, you can select permissions under the security section of the left hand panel. This will take you to the view permission screen where you can assign permissions to groups of users, individual users, and anonymous users. Most of the permissions are self-explanatory, but let me explain a couple in more detail. If you wish for a user to be able to see the space in the spaces list on the dashboard or any content within a space when viewing search results, you must grant them the view permission. If you grant a user the create permission, they will be able to create and edit the respective types of content within the space. The restrict permission allows a user to restrict the viewing and or editing of a page to a particular user or group of users. Refer to the tutorial on page restrictions for full details. Granting a user the export permission will give them the ability to export either a page or a space. This permission for pages will see an export to Word and export to PDF option in the tools menu of any page within a space for which they have the page export permission. Users with the export space permission will be able to export a space into either PDF, HTML, or XML format by navigating to the export section under the advanced space options. Lastly, users with the admin permission for a space will become a space administrator and have access to the space administration console. Let me give you a real life example of a space with permissions set. Atlassian's user documentation is powered by Confluence. The documentation for each of our products is separated into individual spaces. Let's jump into the space for the documentation for the current release of Confluence, which is 3.2 at the time of recording this video. I am a space administrator for this space, so I am able to navigate to the space administration console by selecting space admin in my browse menu for this space. Looking at the permissions for this space, you can see that anyone who visits the instance of Confluence will be able to view the space as anonymous users have the view permission. But anonymous users cannot create or edit any of the content in the space as they do not have the create permission. This permission has only been granted to certain users, mostly Atlassian staff. Also notice that only select users have the space admin permission. 
it is important to note that when you grant the view permission to a user, they will be able to see all of the pages within the space, unless restrictions have been set on individual pages. An example of this happening could be in a human resources space, which is used to store policies and procedures that should be viewable by all staff, but there may be certain pages that should only be viewable by particular employees. For example, payroll information. The tutorial on page restrictions will show you how to set page restrictions.